Hi guys, this is a new series where I'll be reviewing a number of interesting instruments. It will feature guitars that have unique physical and acoustic characteristics that make them different from your standard classical guitar. Just quickly, I now have a Patreon where you can get exclusive and early access content, guitar lessons, and a say in what I'll create next. I haven't been able to play concerts for many months now, so any support would be greatly appreciated. Okay. This guitar is unusual for more than one reason. The obvious first, there's no wood. It's actually entirely made up of matte black carbon fiber materials. It looks very cool, sleek, and somewhat industrial. The material is very pleasant to touch and feels sturdy, stable, and reliable. The biggest selling point is not the looks though. This guitar can actually fold in half. It literally fits in a backpack. No more worrying at the airport if your instrument will survive the trip. It can actually stay with you all the way into the plane. Now let's see if it's worth being taken along. First, let's talk about the ergonomics or playability of the instrument. The guitar features a manza wedge, which is a slight tapering of the guitar body. It allows a player to see the strings easily and helps making it a little bit more comfortable to use. These bevels also help with this and the guitar has a great cutaway to make it easier playing the higher notes up the fingerboard. It has a 48 mm nut and a 650 mm scale, which is incredible that this full size guitar can fit into a backpack. The combination of all of these specs along with a fingerboard that is not too thick makes it very comfortable for my small hands. The model has a detachable bridge saddle that can be swapped with a lower version if you prefer not playing with the higher action. The audio jack is located conveniently where the cord can fall between my legs in a classical posture, rather than sticking into the leg. One unfortunate downside of the classical design though is the lack of the highest treble frets. This guitar has such a nice cutaway that I don't think can be completely utilized. The extra small custom tuning heads are usually reliable and smooth to turn, but unfortunately not 100% consistent. Sometimes I have to turn it a lot to tune it up and it has slipped on a couple of occasions, but most of the time it works fine. Besides that, it's a comfortable and easy to play instrument, which is very important to me and something essential for the general health of your back, arms and hands. This guitar has a pleasant, capable sound. Harmonics sound clear and the tuning stays consistent up the fingerboard. On my particular instrument, there is sometimes a bit of a buzz on the D string when playing an E or an F, but besides that, there are no problems. When played without amplification, it is also on the quieter side. I would say that the bass strings definitely have a lot more sustain to them than the trebles. I have to compensate a bit while playing to make sure to bring out the top strings, particularly the E. When it is plugged in, however, it really comes to life. This particular instrument comes with Journeytech's own dual pickup system, combining a passive three-piece piezo pickup with an active gooseneck microphone. The controls are hidden behind the edge of the sound hole, enabling you to both mix signals, manipulate trebles and basses, and adjust the output volume. The system requires a nine volt battery. The signal is clean, pleasant, and natural. When connected to a high quality acoustic speaker like this AER, I even sometimes forget that the guitar is amplified. Is combining the travel guitar with something ultra portable like this small battery powered amp. Still sounds really nice. An even more portable solution would be using an iOS connected speaker like this together with a digital amp simulation on an iPhone or an iPad. 
This comes with the added benefit of being able to easily record yourself on the go. However, I wouldn't trust this too much for live purposes, as there is a little bit of a small but noticeable input lag. First and foremost, this is a travel guitar, and at that task, it absolutely excels. The carrying case has many secure pockets and a sleeve for tablets or small laptops. I have all of my sheet music on my iPad, so I find this especially useful. My guitar lift also fits perfectly in this pocket. The removable neck is extremely stable, with two safeguards of attachment. First, there is this button that automatically clicks the neck on and off, and then there is a screw mechanism to tighten it. It can be a little startling at first, but you get used to it after a couple of goes. You will of course have to retune the guitar afterwards, but it stabilizes pretty quickly after about 30 minutes. Make sure you're always on time with this instrument. Who is this guitar for? Of course, it can't just replace our main concert instruments, but I don't think that's really what Journey Instruments had in mind. It is super portable and includes a very decent pickup. I wouldn't use it for a grand solo recital, but it is a smart companion for stuff like masterclasses, teaching engagements, and many event geeks like destination weddings, for example. I'm sure this will also be accompanying me on holidays as a really good practice guitar. It's a convenient, hassle-free travel instrument that has a surprisingly good sound and high playability. Pretty good. <laughs>